Shift A. Curve. Add a NURBS path. Create a geometry node tree. And don't forget to rename it. Add a wrist sample curve node. The count can be adjusted later. Add a duplicate hair curves node. Amount can be adjusted later. Add a frizz hair curves node. This node is used to generate noise in the curves. Shape determines where the noise is impacted in the curve. Add a trim curve node. Trim curve node is used to shrink or grow the curve by adjusting the end value. We'll connect the end value to the input so that it can be controlled from outside. Rename it to trim. Add a set curve radius node. Add spline parameter node. The factor gives a gradient of 0 to 1 from the tip to the root of the curve. Multiply the factor with an input value. Rename it to radius. Set minimum and maximum values. Connect the output of the multiply node to the radius input. Now add a curve to mesh node. This node requires a profile curve. We'll add a curve circle for it. As you can see, the effect is inverted now. To fix this, we need to invert the factor value. We do that by adding a float curve node and inverting the graph. You can also adjust the fall off of the curve here. Play with the curve fall off and the radius input value to get the desired thickness. Connect the distance value of the frizz hair curves node to the input and rename it to spread. Do the same for the shape value. Also, connect the amount value in the duplicate hair curves node to the input. Connect the count value of the wrist sample curve node to the input as well. The input values can be rearranged as per your preference. The curve can be controlled using the curve points in edit mode. But these can't be animated. In order to make them animatable, we use empties. Create an empty sphere and scale it down. Duplicate the empties and rename them accordingly. Next, we need to move the empties to the position of each curve segment. For that, go to Edit Mode and click on a curve segment. Shift S to open to 3D Cursor Pi menu. Go to Cursor to select it. Click on the corresponding empty and Shift S to open the Cursor Pi menu. Go to Selection to Cursor. Control A to apply transformation and go to location to deltas. Repeat this process for all the other empties. There are five curve segments in the NURBS curve, but I chose to add just four empty controls.
After the setup for the empties is completed, click on the curve again and move the input node aside. Add a set position node. Pin the Geo node setup by clicking on the pin icon. Add an index node. This node gives a value of 0 to 4 for each curve segment. Add an equal node to check if it is equal to 0. Connect the result to the selection of the set position node. Drag and drop the first empty into the Geo node tree. Connect the location to the position. I hooked it to the offset by mistake. I'll be fixing it soon. As you can see, the curve segment can be controlled by the empty and now it is animatable. Duplicate the set position node and repeat the same process for all the other empties by changing the index equal to value. After the setup is done, add a set material node in the end. Create a material and call it whatever you want. Select it in the set material node. The Geo node setup is complete. All the parameters and also the empties can be animated. Let's make a simple material shader. Change to the shader editor. Add a Musgrave texture. Adjust the scale. Add a color ramp node and adjust the black and white values. Add a bump node and connect the output of the color ramp to the height. And connect the output of the bump node to the normal of the principal BSDF. Adjust the strength value. You can also invert the color ramp value.
play with the roughness value. And also the scale of the Musgrave texture to get the desired look. The material setup is complete. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment down. Thanks for watching.